One is because the amount of detail, the amount of preparation he puts into every game after touring with him in 2017, I saw that first hand, it was just off the charts, it blew my mind. Mm. The amount of time he spent on the laptops, the amount of time he was perfecting his kicking, his passing, whatever, it was, <clears throat> it was next level. And then I suppose when I play against him, like we said a little bit with, do we flag players up, etc. But the whole time we play Island, the only thing we generally spoke about was how do we get at Sexton? Really? How do we stop Sexton running the game? How do we stop Sexton dictating play? The variety of his game and was just brilliant in terms of short pass, long pass, attacking, kicking game, um, tough, you know, amount of injuries he picked up and things. And my first Six Nations start was against Ireland in 2013, and he gave me his um, his match shirt. Didn't ask for mine in return. Just said, "Keep yours." Um, oh no way! Uh, so that was a really nice touch. Well, much yeah, a really nice touch, and um, just an, an all-round brilliant guy, but so so tough on the field, argumentative, fractious, um, niggly, and that's kind of. I just, saw, I saw that. I just yeah, I was yeah. going to say that's what I saw. I saw so much of myself in him. Because you want to win, though, so you do, do yeah. anything to try and win. And you look at his career. I mean, the success he had with Leinster, with Ireland, with the Lions, and you just think, well, he's been for me. He's kind of, and he's not. Not the flashiest of ten. He's not like a, a Finn Russell who produces a bit of a bit of magic now and again. This guy is consistency like you've never seen it in terms of just seven and a half out of ten, eight out of ten every single game. The way he leads how, his team. How does that Lions tour make a difference, Dan? When, when you get to know the boys on a, on a yeah on a, another level. So I, I just think maybe before maybe a lot of people may maybe feel the same with me. Is that you find out the real people then, you know, because yeah. you, you can't hide for 24 hours a day for eight weeks. You, you know, you, that's the real you then. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I just really enjoyed Johnny's company. We had good, we had similar sort of sort of banter together. We weren't afraid to sort of get stuck into each other. I just thought you'd off. No, <laughs> it, it, it's it is funny because like if you th if you're if you're even listening in or whatever, we're at each other and yeah. things like that. But I think that's a sign of a, a good person and a competitive player. Is that you? You know, you leave it on the field for 18 minutes. You give each other everything, and just a really, really good relationship that we built up off the back of almost a really a big, long rivalry. And for me, that's what that's why he's my number one because I played against Carter maybe three or four times. I played against Dupont six or seven times, two or so over four or five times. But Johnny, I, honestly, it must be up, up, up by about 20, 20 times, 22, 23 times. Damn, fascinating all the way through.